Hello everyone, my name is Vanessa Smith, I'm the Director of Nursing. Hello everyone, my name is Peace Chiboye, I'm Head of Nursing and Quality for South African Addictions Directorate. Peace is going to um, demonstrate on the video how to take a swab for someone suspected COVID-19 and he's going to take the swab on me. Okay, so uh, to take a swab of somebody suspected of having COVID-19, I will need a pair of gloves, which um, we want to wear before we do anything. So I've washed my hand and use a sanitizer as well to make sure it's clean and dry. And I'm putting on my gloves. So I've got my gloves on. The next thing to put on is my apron. So uh, your normal apron is okay for suspected cases. And again, make sure it's nice to secure behind you. There you go. Next thing to put on is your mask. So uh, we have different ones. This is just a normal surgical mask for suspected cases again. Um, so um, the, the bit where it has this foldable, which fits nicely on top, is the one that is uh, on, on the upper surface. And then fit it in properly to be secure. You might use a goggle if you uh, are worried or concerned about uh, the person you're about to stop spitting, but it's usually not necessary unless you have uh, done your risk assessment, you think there are risk of uh, somebody spitting on you. So I'm going to then go on to explain to Vanessa what the procedure is. Um, Vanessa, we're about to do a swab on you for C19 virus. Uh, just to let you know that it will be slightly uh, intrusive going to the back of your throat but also going into your nose. And it's a very big ticklish as well, just to let you know. Okay. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay. So, if you just open your mouth for me. Thank you. And I'm going to do your nose with the same one. So nice circular motion, just to be careful. And now, so I will take in the swab. It goes into the rest of the rail. If you open this carefully, you will stick this in there. Now you need to hold this where there's a black strap in it. And just cut that way and seal this up. So it's very important to immediately put the name uh, of the patient on it once you've put that in. So I'm going to put here Vanessa. So you need to do this twice. So you need two, at least two uh, of the samples to go. Now specimen back, which has already been filled in by your doctor. So you put this nicely into the specimen back and then this is ready to go into virology. Okay. 